Okay, Corey, we'll build this bridge when we come to it. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure you head over to our YouTube at Inside the Game and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. All right, Corey, we're back with Polybridge 2. This is a, a bridge building simulator, I guess you could say. Uh, what was your first impressions jumping into this one? Um, well, to be honest, I haven't played Polybridge the original, so I didn't really know too much about this one jumping right in, but I do really enjoy bridge builder simulators in all their varieties, whether they be really simple or more complex. And this one actually kind of has uh, an interesting approach or something I haven't really dealt with too much in bridge you know builder simulators before and it has a lot of kind of interesting mechanics that you get you know involved with very quickly in this game there's hydraulics mm -hmm. for drawbridges and there's you know some springs and there's a lot of different interesting things that you don't normally get in these types of games that make building these bridges and allowing the vehicles to get from you know point a to point b in a very interesting manner you know it's not very it's not necessarily as linear as some of these games you know are you know, so normal or used to being. Um, what did you yeah. think? Yeah, that's true. That's a good observation because I think they give you more tools than I'm used to, yeah. but it's just kind of anything you can imagine to kind of tweak your bridge, like a rope and a cable and, and hydraulics, like you mentioned, and springs. It's It gives you the ability to make elevators and things in your bridges. Yeah. And that kind of elicits more of a challenge. So the challenges are definitely way more extreme. There's boats that come through the levels that you have to have drawbridges for, um, and then, you know, heavy equipment on top of that is going and using that bridge right after. So it definitely gets uh, difficult quick. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of those ones where when you first get in, they give you some pretty basic tutorial instructions. But again, this game isn't overly complex when it comes to controls. It's, you know, click and drag and you pick your different materials depending on what you're building. You know, make sure you're building your roadways in the proper manner, manner sorry. And then you're also, you know, you're using wood where you can, but steel where you need it because there's a budget when you're playing through these different levels. And there's a lot of things yeah. to take into consideration. And I mean, that's, you know, you it's a lot of the same metrics you get in a lot of bridge builders when it comes to you know having that you know certain budget that you got to work with and sometimes limited materials depending on what you're doing or what you're trying to accomplish and then again oh. depending on what you need to build you also have to consider what's coming across and sometimes it's not just one vehicle you're looking at multiple vehicles plus a drawbridge situation if there's a boat coming through like you said there's a lot of things that come into play and, and it doesn't necessarily make this one an easy one to you know complete when you start getting into the later rounds with this one yeah and uh i'm glad you mentioned that because there's a lot of levels to this game <laughs> yeah um they they give you kind of like the mathematical tools i've noticed while you're making it the snap grid and the um the ability to like see the angles so you yeah. can make sure you have equal triangles the strongest shape and that kind of thing but yeah when you're going into all of these levels way later on it just systems on systems are are needed to be understood to to make the bridge function properly and uh there is a kind of a guide in the top left that'll you know you can reread your tutorials on how each of the things work but i i personally had an issue with hydraulics right at the start i couldn't there's something about it i wasn't figuring out exactly why my bridge wasn't quite working or folding up like I want I thought I wanted it to yeah. but um, you know when I burst that bubble and I, and I went with more simple designs more uh, realistic things you would see in the world <laughs> then it started working out better for me but you should see all this stuff in the workshop there's people that make the most ridiculous designs uh, double helix dna designs and like crazy loop-de-loops <laughs> this game has uh, the tools for the people that are really diehard that's for sure 
Yeah, it's nice to have that creative aspect to a game that's already, like you said, pretty deep with levels. Like we've got four different worlds here with plenty of levels in each world. And the nice thing about, you know, when you approach one of these new mechanics, like you said, the hydraulics, or, you know, we did talk about springs or cable systems, they kind of give you the opportunity, they prompt you, if it's the first time you've run into this mechanic, to do a short tutorial level, just to, you know, give you a quick explanation on exactly how they kind of, you know, give you the first ideas on how it works. And then basically your imagination takes you where you want to go from there. And then it's just, you know, they're, there's so much to do and there's because of these mechanics there's so many interesting ways to complete the levels i mean there's always you know multiple ways to complete these levels no matter what kind of simulator you're playing in this genre but at the same time this one like i was playing a level where you have to launch a car like the you have to launch the car off the top of the mountain and the way the car has to <laughs> land is you have to basically put springs under the landing to try to cushion that car's landing. And it, I just kept smashing through, smashing through. And yeah. it was difficult until I finally kind of got that perfect angle. And I still broke the bridge, but the car managed to like bounce onto the finished platform and keep going. And I got lucky there, but I mean, this game was definitely difficult. There's a, there's a high degree of difficulty in this one. And yeah, a bit of arcadiness to it as well. <laughs> Oh, for sure. So, Polybridge 2 definitely stood out to me. I think we both kind of have a similar opinion of this one. Uh, it's such a package for anybody who enjoys this kind of a game in the genre. The ability to create your own stuff, and, and it, it doesn't look half bad either. Uh, this game gets an 8 from me. You know what, Scott? I'm right there with you. I didn't necessarily know what to expect with this game because I never played the first one. And I'm disappointed now that I didn't because I'm having a great time playing this. Uh, you know, like you said, it looks great. It has that kind of cartoony feel, but you know, the it just suits the environment and the way you play this game. And I really love the different interesting mechanics like the hydraulics, the springs, some of the cable mechanics, the fact that there's, you know, bridges that go through, or sorry, uh, boats that go through and you need draw bridges. For me, I just had a blast. I, I gotta give this one an 8 as well. Fun game mechanics and interesting bridge ideas really fuel this sequel. If you like bridge builders, you'll love all there is to do in this one. <laughs> 